is up, Cincy fans? Or I always like to say brick fans because today I'm covering my bricks that I've worked on for the past three months. When I film this video, it's a tiny bit ahead of the change of seasons, but what I'm gonna do is show you the bricks that I finished, what I worked on but didn't finish, and what I plan to bring on for the winter segment. Now, I usually talk a lot about the bricks, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the notes below, and rather than go on and on, I'm just gonna kinda show you my progress, and because that, that's, uh, and I'll touch on highlights, but I'll try not to ramble. All right, so recently I finished up a tree-shaped brick of candy apple, and this is basically like green apple and sweet candy glaze. Um, not a favorite of mine, because it kinda smells like Lysol wipes. <laughs> this one, by the way, was full, obviously. I finished up a lemon drop it low brick, so here it is, and here it's finished. I will put a pro uh, another picture here showing where I was so you can see the progress. And this is basically a very gentle lemon. There's a little bit of like a creaminess, um, and crisp, uh, sugar crystals, etc. One of my favorites I finished, Silver Bells. This is from 2017, so I'll put a picture up here. I'm actually gonna pull in another Silver Bells and that's it for Silver Bells for me. Luckily, it is a catalog item and it will be going in my club at the end of the year. I finished up a Candy Cane Wishes and part of this was thanks to my friend Shannon. She had sent me half a brick. So I, I love this scent. I will never complain <laughs> that someone gifted me this scent. It's so good. This is one you wanna write on your list to return, Candy Cane Wishes. So I finished up that one. I finished up a 2019 brick of Vanilla Bean Buttercream. This one here, I have, I, I picked up a whole bunch of these because I thought you're always gonna need vanilla bean buttercream. And I'm slowly working my way through them. So you'll see the packaging is different from Scentsy Club packaging. I finished up a sweaty snow kissed cranberry. So here it is, and you know, the progress picture is right here. So this one here has like a, almost like a body care cranberry feel. I really, really love that one. So you can, I've been doing really well with my bricks. <laughs> And now keep in mind, some of these are full to start, some are half full, almost empty, etc. So uh, spiced eggnog. I finished up a whole brick. I don't remember how much, I think I probably had about half of a brick left, but this one has a lot of clove in it. You can definitely smell the clove. And this was fall of 2021. All right, so those are all the ones I finished. I think I might've missed one that I recycled, but anyway. Um, so the ones I didn't finish. I'm just gonna randomly go in whatever order is here. Johnny Appleseed. So I will put, this is where I'm at now, and I will put a progress picture here, a start picture. So this one here has the Macintosh apples and pears and the peels of the apple, really, really nice. No spice with that one. That was from September of 2020. Now this is my oldest wax that I have, Eskimo Kiss Fall of 2016 brick. This is it, this is what I've got left. So I have uh, five and a half cubes left to go. I'm gonna put this aside and carry it over into my next melting basket. Same with this one, Caramel Sugar Cookie, Scentsy Brick. This was full to start, and I've used almost the same amount. So I, I put a pounding on this. I've been warming it in my open layout. I've been warming it in my overnight warmers. The reason I like to do overnight warmers is because when I get up in the morning, I get, I'm get i a super early riser, like really early. Sometimes I don't sleep the greatest. I fall asleep fine. I can't stay asleep. Anyway, so. If I'm gonna put coffee on in the morning, in my overnight warmers, which have a lot of light, this complements the coffee really well. So I want, if you're a coffee person, I can have coffee going in my hot, hot warmers and this going in my overnight warmers. And like I said, works well together. This one I'm probably gonna carry over too, just cause I need to really put a dent on this. It's so, so strong. Sugar Plum Berry. This is available as the Sense of the Season bar right now. And this one has, it almost feels like Blue Christmas plus like something like a black raspberry vanilla or a dancing sugar plums in with it. That's what I get. A lot of people say it's like holiday nest. Very snowy spruce. I only worked on the top row. This was full to start. Um, sugar plum berry was full, caramel sugar cookie was full, and I think Eskimo Kiss were all full. So I didn't take pictures if they're full, um, but yeah. Um, one of my viewers suggested very snowy spruce directly mixed with vanilla bean buttercream, and I'm gonna pound that. And my husband really, really likes this. So I'm gonna do the vanilla bean buttercream and very snowy spruce mix because that sounds like something I would friggin' love. Um, but he loves it on this on its own, so. Right, this was a standout for me, um, a brick I picked up through the club exclusive. And I'm not sure if everybody's gonna like it, but I really like it. So if you pick it up because I like it and you don't like it, I apologize, you can, you can send it up to me. <laughs> Just joking, I don't need any more wax. This is Scentsy as You. 
I like this so much. It's described as a floral, but it reminds me of a variation of ruby nectarine. Like ruby nectarine is a fresh produce kind of scent to me. And this is almost like different fruits. I think there's um, apricot in here. I forget what the, maybe melon. Yeah, and the performance on this is great. Like it's a nice saturated scent. Day one, it's it reminds me of a pretty uh, medium plus scent. And on day two, it's like a medium light and so pretty. So I, I picked up, I picked Put the notes below so you can see what they are. I did do a Tester Tuesday video on that so if you want details on how to pick that up yourself uh, go check out that video. Okay so finishing up our discussion of the regular bricks I'm always working on this one always always I, this is what I have the most scentsy wax of cinnamon chai latte and I would love to see this as a voting option for bring back my bar because I think what happened was this went to clearance and then people this, some people really really like it so the people that like it deserve a chance to try to vote it back. So this one I think was missing the top row and I worked on almost four cubes worth. So that is good. I'm gonna carry that one over. All right, and then I have three more tree bricks. I'm not sure if I love the tree bricks. I didn't even dip into Cozy Kitchen and I gave my mom my last Cozy Kitchen bar and she, she was so excited she put in her warmers right away. But anyway, I have some tree bricks to discuss. I don't know if I love these because I still, even though I did a video on all the different quantities of each segment I can't remember and Melta Michelle had a great idea she she writes on the back like however many cubes are in each one so I should start doing that too so it's like a team effort to get through these tree bricks eh all right this is orange spice and everything nice this is going in Ryan's room right now I had maybe three quarters of a of this segment left so I put that in his full-size warmer I've changed Ryan's warmer out we're actually going to give the spider-man warmer that he has to our neighbor and we pulled out the flaunt your feathers he really likes that one so We've got that one going and this is almost like a mostly orange very little spice scent forever flannel is going in my room right now and this is a light scent but lovely and if you're doing the melting challenge you know that i'm working ahead but i have to just with tester tuesday etc but as long as you fit everything in it's fine there's no rules um this is really nice it's got lavender and it's got uh, i think sandalwood it's really nice this reminds me of a lavender winterized version of um Oh my God, coconut cotton. That's what it reminds me of. The color is kind of on par as well. And this was really nice too, Holly Jolly Cider. This reminds me of red berry and spruce quite a bit. There's quite a bit of evergreen in here, even though it doesn't say, it says a whiff of evergreen. There's quite a bit of evergreen. I'm just gonna smell this because I haven't smelled it in a while. I haven't warmed this in quite a while, but I've used up a fair amount. Yeah, so good. This is so good. I would like to get another one, but my, I should be good. All right, so I'm not gonna bring any tree bricks forward. I'm gonna put those away. But what I'm gonna bring forward into my melting basket for the winter the winter must, which basically goes for me from, you know, when winter starts until spring starts. So I'm gonna try to finish cinnamon chai latte. I wanna try to finish very snowy spruce. This one might be hard because it, it's just, there's so much left. Um, sugar plum berry, I'm gonna try to finish that. I'm gonna try to finish caramel sugar cookie, which I think should be fine. And I really want to fi finish this one, Eskimo Kiss, because this is my oldest wax. All right, now bringing in new stuff, I am going to work on maraschino sugar cookie. I can feel the daggers, but I don't really like this one. I don't know what it is, the butter, there's too much butter or something. And everybody says, when they review it, they're like, everybody likes this. And I'm like, oh, I don't. <laughs> so if you don't like it, let me know so I don't feel so alone. But yeah, I have to finish that. It's it's quite strong for me, so I think I should I, I should be able to get through that. And this one I really dislike as well, not to be a Debbie Downer, but this is Winter's Eve from last year. And I'm gonna work on this in the garage, I think, because I just don't care for it. Um, I have a full vanilla bean buttercream, so I've already, I think I've already chopped that up. Uh, I chopped up the I chopped it up into segments, but I chopped the top row. Oh. Dropped a little piece of wax. It smells so good. <laughs> the other day I, I had some wax in my hand that I didn't know and I, I tasted it and I was like, whoa, <laughs> it was really gross. Definitely don't taste it. It wasn't intentional, but all right. So this one here, I'm going to try to work through even though it's a lot. I have a full brick of Blue Christmas from 2018. Um, this smells like almost like a cr clean shaving cream <laughs> scent to me, a fresh, and that's not the notes at all. But the reason I'm trying to work through that is it's oily and you can kind of see on this one, there's like, it's it's oil 
dripped on my Christmas cottage. This is Christmas cottage from 2018, so I want to try to work on quite a bit of that. Plus, I hate when things get all wrinkly and ugly, and it, it, it's wrinkly and ugly because this one leaked on it, but anyway. All right, I want to try to work on one of my little pals, my little nephew, Olaf, this, the Timbit hockey player. So this is such a nice scent. And look at that color. It's just the most gorgeous color. Gorgeous scent, lighter, lighter but beautiful. All right, three more, excuse me. Silver bells, silver bells. I have 2017 and that's it for bricks for me. I just, I think I hoarded these and I just love it so much. Yeah, I have this going in Scentsy pods and a, a scent pack in my car. It smells so good. My a coworker said, your car smells so good. And I'm like, that's silver bells. Cranberry and tinsel. This came out in 2018. I'm going to work on some of this. This is quite strong for me. And I think it's got like, I think it might have fur, Siberian fur and cranberries. I forget. It's a very dense, heavy cranberry. If you kind of catch my drift with it. definitely a tree presence. I would say... 60% cranberry, 40% tree, or maybe 70, 30. And this one's not a favorite of mine, but I think I picked it up for like $12 Canadian or something crazy. Um, Ramona really likes it, but I think she's got a lot of it too. So this is ginger and spruce. And this is one of the longer lasting Scentsy scents I've ever experienced. Just for me in the past, it just goes forever. So I might alternate this um, in the garage with Winter's Eve because I try not to put the same scent constantly. I like to like switch it up, switch it up. So I might rotate these, even though I like this a lot better than Winter's Eve. Yeah, it smells like, it smells like some sort of gum with like, like a fresh, a fresh, like you're, you're laying in a meadow um, that's like got a lot of moss and then you're chewing some sort of sweet gum, but not like bubble gum, kind of like a minty gum. And that's totally not what the notes are. <laughs> that's just what I get. All right, this is the long video. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you enjoy brick videos. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, I don't know. I like to see progress on bricks. It, it gives me motivation. And don't forget, I always say this, make sure you chop a little bit of your brick. You don't have to chop it all, but you can chop a little bit. You can put it back in the container. And I have a brick video out on how to do that very neatly and cleanly. So I will try to remember to link that below. I'll also try to remember to link the tree brick cubes. And then I also brought up how much is in each regular brick brick cube so I'll try to link all those down below for you as a resource so anyway take care if you've seen one of your favorites let me know take care and I'll see you guys in the next one